Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Jillian. So we have another pick a card reading today. And today it's gonna to be regarding the situation on your mind. So whatever is on your mind right now, you're gonna take a deep breath in through your nose and slowly exhale. And as you can see, we have two piles here. So we have pile number one or this obsidian crystal. And pile number two, or this smoky quartz. So if you need to, a little bit more time to choose your pile, you can pause the video. Otherwise, allow your intuition to guide you toward your pile. Whether it's number one, number two, or the crystal that you're drawn to, and keep in mind that these readings are general, so please take what resonates and leave the rest and always trust your intuition. So if you haven't already and you've been enjoying these videos, please don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. It really helps the channel. And thank you so much for being here. I will leave the timestamps in the description box down below, and I will see you at your reading. I hope you enjoy your reading. Sending you lots of love. Okay, so if you chose pile number one or this obsidian stone, this is your reading. Okay, beautiful. We have an offering. So again, this is a general reading regarding the situation on your mind. So I'm definitely seeing an offering coming in. The bird in this image is reminding me of spring and I am recording this video. It is a timeless reading, but at, I mean, spring equinox was only a few weeks ago. This reminds me of a robin. This is also showing me that you've planted some seeds. And um, I'm really feeling the energy of the Ace of Pentacles, which is like a new offering, a new opportunity coming your way. It feels more in relation to something that you're creating or your job or your home rather than related to, for example, romance um, or a love offering. It feels more like related to your abundance or creating abundance in your experience. But I'm going to pull some tarot to get some more clarity for you, pile one. But this is a very positive reading so far. For some of you, this could be like an inheritance coming in. It could be a job offer. It could be a promotion. Like I said, I have my tarot deck here and I'm going to gain a little bit more insight. Spirit, what do they need to know about this offering? I'm also hearing that many of you are letting something go. You're releasing something. I'm feeling the energy of the death card in tarot, which is like there's been an ending recently. That could mean as it relates to your job or how you create money or abundance in your life, or it could be for some of you an ending as it relates to, it feels to me like some of you have moved or you've cut out some, some old habits. Maybe you've changed some old habits and you, there's an energetic shift here is what I'm feeling like. It's almost like you've cleared out the old in order to create space for this new opportunity for this new offering because i'm seeing here that you've planted some seeds and it feels like maybe even back in the fall that the seeds were plant planted in terms of like maybe sending out an email to someone or you know looking into a new opportunity and it's like i'm feeling like those seeds are coming or bearing fruit for you now okay let's see what else do we need to know about this offering This deck really wants to be shuffled, so I'm gonna give it a nice shuffle. It could be that you've been spending a little bit more time in nature and you're having some clarity around the direction that you wanna move forward in as well. It's like this, is, this, this clearing out has brought you some clarity. It's 
it's um i'm really feeling like a lot of you are releasing letting go there's been some shifts there in terms of endings for you maybe letting go of um friendships that weren't necessarily serving your highest good or creating healthy boundaries but this this offering is as a result of some work that you've put in the work that you've done over the winter months, it feels like to me. Okay, what do they need to know about this offering? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So we have the Queen of Swords. The Two of Pentacles. Some of you could be air signs. Some of you could have air somewhere strongly in your chart. I'm feeling Libra, Sagitt excuse me, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Yeah, some of you are definitely Gemini I'm getting. Okay, lots of twos. And the four of wands. Okay. Okay, that's what this is. Okay, so it's like I'm seeing an offering coming in but it feels to me with these two twos present, the two of pentacles and the two of wands, it feels to me like many of you are actually making a decision. There could be more than one offer on the table at this point in time. That's what I'm sensing, that maybe some of you are making a decision around an offer that's being presented or you will be making a decision. It feels to me like there's um, there could be a couple of opportunities coming your way or a couple of opportunities right now in front of you in terms of like I said, related to your work. For some of you, this could be about moving somewhere with this Four of Wands. Um, but for me, in Tarot, Four of Wands is also about building and creating your business, your work, your passion. So it, it feels to me with these with these two twos, because twos um, are kind of like you've put in the work, which is showing, I'm seeing this here already, like with these seeds being planted, like probably last fall, winter, throughout the winter. And I'm seeing that like, it's almost like things are about to change for you, pile one. And this is a result of this clearing out with this obsidian crystal is really, I'm really feeling into like this energy of release. It's like over the winter, I, I'm sensing that some of you really shed a lot. It's like, I'm feeling the energy of the snake where you shed a layer of yourself by letting go of, you know, perhaps old habits that weren't serving you, um, reevaluating your relationships and just really getting clear on how you wanted to spend your time and energy. And that clearing out is creating space for you as we move into spring. And so I'm seeing that you're going to find clarity with this queen of swords. Like I said, some of you could be air signs or have air strongly in your chart. If you're not, I'm feeling like quite a lot of you are quite, um, intellectual and like you like to make pros and you're very logical is what I'm getting like you like to make um pros and cons lists when you make a decision you're you're quite analytical um and that's why it's been hard for you some of you to make this decision but I'm seeing with these twos that things are changing things are changing and there is going to be a call for celebration here so an offering is coming in. There could be multiple offers, like I said, at the moment. If you're not sure about what direction to move in, I'm really feeling like that clarity is gonna come soon for you with this Queen of Swords. And um, see in this image here, it's like the whole world is in his hands and he's making a decision. And this one, he's, some of you might be juggling a lot. I'm, I'm getting like, some of you might be feeling like kind of like why, riding the wave right now. Um, and that's why it's hard for you to make a decision. Um, but definitely I'm seeing, you know, it depends on the person, it depends on the situation, but an offering coming your way and it feels really positive. 
as it relates to your work. So if you're on the fence about a particular uh, decision as it relates to your job or prosperity, I'm just gonna, how you create wealth, how you create abundance, or even like a creative project that you might be working on. I'm just gonna see if there's anything else that comes through. But it's definitely something to celebrate. It feels to me like there might be a little bit more time needed and patience because twos are also about things are going to change. So it's almost like this, this offering is coming and spirit is saying like, keep doing what you're doing, be patient and, um, and there, there will be clarity for you ahead. And I'm also seeing like celebration in the future. So it feels to me like a really positive offer is coming your way. Okay, let's see what else. Is there anything else you need to know about this offering? Also, this 46 here, four plus six is, is a 10, which is a one in numerology, which is new beginnings. So definitely a new beginning when it comes to a creative project, a work opportunity, a promotion, um, something that you want to start. Maybe if it's not work, it's something that it's a nudge from spirit for you to start something new creatively. Yeah. See, because it feels to me like a lot of you over, because this feels like in the past to me or like just recent past, have been experiencing almost like a shakeup of your foundation. Like things have been changing for you. It could be, you know, you could have gotten fired from a job. You could have left a job or it's almost like this, this shakeup in your foundation, which is creating this new space, energetic space for this new offering to come into your life. So it's almost like that the tower energy, which no one ever wants to see to the tower card, but it's a really beautiful energy in the sense that, you know, it shakes things up in order for us to be able to grow and expand and move forward and in order for new offerings to come in for us to create opportunities for ourselves. There is that beauty as we look forward. Okay. And we have the King of Cups here. So, you know, for some of you, I am seeing that this could be a new relationship now. It was more feeling like related to career and and um, how you create abundance in your life. But with this King of Cups, I'm seeing, well, first of all, I'm seeing that you're going to be, for some of you, you're going to be coming into a more emotionally balanced state if you feel, feel like you were in a little bit of an, a tower moment in your experience um, I'm seeing you finding that emotional balance and emotional stability moving forward and um, being able to celebrate who you are. So as we move forward, but then for other people, there is a celebration as it relates to new love coming in. And it feels to me like if you are an air sign, I'm seeing you attracting in a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Cancer. Or if you are Cancer, maybe you're bringing in an air sign. Those are the two strongest energies coming in. Um, I'm not feeling a ton of fire in this reading, but again, we have multiple signs in our chart, right? So this could be sun, moon, or rising for many of you. But um, yeah, new offering for many of you coming in. It feels like it's related to, like I said, work or a passion project. What I'll offer you is that some clarity will be coming in soon if you're making a decision. And what the two of... Um, what the two of wands is showing us is that, you know, you have the whole world in your hands. Um, it's this idea of like limitless opportunity. Don't forget that you have limitless potential. And if you've been feeling like any kind of stuck or stagnant energy or this residual energy of, from the tower of like, you know, shaken up or feeling like your foundation has been rocky, um, that will change with these two twos coming in. It's like this, this be patient, and you're almost through it is what I'm getting. And it is really like an energy of celebration, whether it relates to your career or new love coming in, or even finding that emotional stability within yourself. Okay, well, that was your reading pile number one. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Sending you lots of love, and I will see you in the next one soon.
Okay, so if you chose pile number two or this smoky quartz stone, this is your reading. So this is related to whatever is on your mind, messages from spirit. Again, these readings are general, so please take what resonates and always trust your intuition. Okay, so we have 44 and we have the B. Okay, so I'm definitely feeling like with this 44, whatever you're experiencing right now is divinely guided, whether or not it feels challenging, I really feel like it is for your highest good and it's for your own personal growth and expansion. I'm getting that you have the strength to get through this if you're going through a challenging time, pile two. And I'm also getting that you're being guided by your angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors. Yeah, I'm getting the energy of transformation. I'm gonna pull some more tarot cards to get a little bit more clarity for you on this, but I mean, it is again, the energy that's representative of, of spring, which is growth, change, transformation. And I'm feeling like that is something that you're undergoing on a, in a big way, many of you in a big way right now, big changes, personal transformation. Let's get some more. And that's why this smoky quartz is paired with this B card. It feels to me like, you know, smoky quartz is one of the most grounding crystals. So if you feel called to work with smoky quartz at this time, it could really help you through whatever transition you might be going through. Okay. So I have my tarot deck here. I'm going to pull some more cards to get some more clarity. What do they need to know right now? What is pile two right now, spirit? As they go through this change. So these for me are related to stepping into the wholeness of who you are, like being yourself and this allowing yourself to be fully who you are, allowing yourself to be seen, but also like this being in flow rather than trying to push forward or become something or, you know, kind of prove yourself to the world. It's like this sense of really coming into who you are on a spiritual level and also in your physical earthly experience. Okay. I'm also getting like this, this is for some of you, this is a really specific message, but if you feel like you've been stung, you feel like you've been hurt by somebody, um, that this is a time of healing, growth, and expansion for you. That, um, you know, spirit is saying that rather be, than being, you know, kind of stuck in the energy of resentment or anger toward that person, of course, like feel through those emotions as you need to, but it's almost like if you were feeling stung by someone, if you were hurt by somebody, um, spirit is offering you an opportunity right now to forgive, um, you know, going, going through the process for, of forgiveness at your own pace, but I'm, I'm feeling like that is going to give you some freedom at this time. If you feel like you were hurt by someone, you know, a, a lover, a partnership or somebody in your family. I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting like, let your guard down. Let's see. What else do they need to know? What does pile two need to know spirit? Okay, yeah, two of cups. So definitely it feels like, I mean, these readings are general, so take what resonates. But for some of you, I'm feeling like there's been heartbreak recently or there's been challenges within your romantic partnership or within a significant relationship in your life. It could be mother, father, sister. But I'm getting that, yeah, cut the deck, eight of... Some of you are leaving that relationship behind or choosing to create healthy boundaries within that relationship and spending less time with that person. I'm getting, um, or you're walking away from old emotional baggage with this person. It's like you're choosing to let it go for some of you 
For others, you're accepting it. And for others, you're walking away quite literally from it. So the BS, like I said, is about transformation. And this feels more to me like this reading feels a little bit more like a relationship reading. The first one felt more like a career and purpose reading. So if that's something you feel drawn to as well, you might want to go back and watch the first pile. For some of you, this could be about your relationship with yourself and, you know, you being hard on yourself and you're walking away from that or you're healing your relationship with yourself by allowing yourself to be fully you. This idea of like being, being in the energy of the bee. Let's see, what else did I need to know? Yeah, five of swords. So it's like, this is going out again with being stung. It feels to me like many of you have been hurt by someone who you were really close to, who you are really close to, or were really close to. Like I said, it could be a partnership or a family member or just a good friend. It's feeling to me like many of you, like it's the energy of the bee is like feeling stung, like you got stung to me and you're recovering from that hurt, from that from that pain, or you might be going through some relationship turmoil, which you know, is, is causing you to feel that way. But we have the six of wands. I'm seeing that you're going to move through this. I mean, of course we always do, but it's like, it doesn't feel like you're going to be stuck in that energy for very much longer. It feels to me like you were with this, um, person perhaps in the past, there was a lot of like feeling like a bit like, stuck or stagnant with whatever this relationship is or was um but i'm seeing you moving forward i'm seeing you like being able to you know heal this for, through walking away from whatever you're walking away from it feels to me like that for some of you that is boundaries for some of you maybe it's uh you know just about accepting the person for who they are or accepting their flaws and that's going to bring you some peace maybe it's about healing something that they're mirroring about you like something that you're seeing about yourself through this relationship but there's definitely a lot of healing within this and it i can feel like the pain from it it feels like a some of you are feeling like abandoned or like hurt this uh, Five of Swords energy is standing out like this person, you know, betrayed you or they hurt you or, you know, there there was a there was a lack or there was a broken a sense of like the trust being broken. But you're standing strong through it. You're moving forward. I'm seeing that with the Six of Wands. Is there anything else I need to know? Yeah, and with this Hanged Man energy, some of you could be Cancers or be in a relationship with a Cancer or Sun Moon Rising, right? Um, but I'm seeing that you're see that you're going to, if you're feeling stuck in this kind of energy right now of being hurt or stung or, you know, from this, like I said, this partnership or family member, I'm seeing that you're going to have a shift in perspective. Um, and that goes along with walking away. So you might need to create a better boundary with this person. You might need to say something to this person, um, or you might just need to cut off communication. Like there's something that needs to shift in terms of how you relate to them you have to walk away from something in order to create that space for yourself to step into this new perspective and i'm seeing by like this is a timeless reading but it feels to me like by cancer season so by end of june into the beginning of july you ha will have really gone through the thick of this so if you're feeling like you know you're wrapped up in that hurt and pain right now that over the next couple of months that you're going to experience a lot of healing as it relates to this relationship. Um, again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, but I'm seeing that a lot of you with this three of one, or pardon me, three of swords, there was heartbreak for a lot of you, or there, you know, you're in the middle of that kind of energy of, of hurting around the heart, right? Because for many of you, there was an ending or there's going to be an ending. And this feels to me more like in the present slash recent past. But there is this beautiful healing through the two of cups. It feels to me like this person or these people that you've been, 
you know, in relationship with, like I said, it very well could be a family member as well. It doesn't have to be partnership or, um, you know, romantic partnership, but it feels to me like there's been a lot of healing through this relationship and, um, a lot of growth. Many of you, it was karmic. And so you had to learn those lessons in order to, what's the, that's what the two of cups is telling us. It's almost like this, this, um, person mirrors to you a lot of your own healing journey in order for you to heal, grow and expand. Um, but if you are in that state of feeling, you know, hurt by someone or there's a kind of like stuckness around a particular relationship that you value, I do see you coming out of this with, um, you know, a strong heart moving forward and also this energy shifting for you by cancer season. So like I said, end of June, beginning July of the month of July, if you're coming to this at the time of upload, which is April, 2023. So um, I hope you found this reading helpful. Um, this is a message of, of encouragement from, from the bee to be yourself, to embrace who you are, and that you are following your own personal truth by leaving behind what is no longer serving you. So spirit is saying like, trust in that. Trust that you are nourishing yourself through these choices that you're making around this relationship that you know may have uh, recently felt like it stung you or where you felt a sense of hurt or betrayal. Okay, so that is your reading pile number two. I hope you found it helpful. If it didn't resonate, you can choose another pile and um, um, feel free to check out the playlist of um, my pick a card readings. I'll link it at the end of this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Always leave me a comment down below. It really helps the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will send, uh, I will see you all in the next reading soon.